hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to in this video i am going to explain you guys uh, split air handling unit how to do the calculation in the app and how to generate the report as well so you can see in the previous tutorials uh, i have done for the package uh, unit and split unit so in this video i'm going to show you how to create uh, for the air handling unit so you can create any types of system here so only you have to change the air system name here air system type okay so in this uh, uh, tutorials i just going to duplicate this uh, ground floor package unit okay so just duplicate and here for the ground floor as well split uh, ahu okay so split ahu okay zero zero one air system name okay and equipment type you can select here split air handling unit okay and uh, for cav system engine and vav system uh, it's uh, depend on you so i'm going to select first uh, cav system okay constant air volume VAV is nothing but the variable air volume so variable air volume is uh, for the separate zone so here is the single zone okay CAV is applicable for the single zone that means the each zone the same temperature will be there if there is VAV zone if you select the VAV you can adjust the temperature for each zone okay so first I will show you the for the CAV system okay and now the number of zone is one if you select the VAV you can this uh, this is hidden here uh, once you select the CAV single zone so number of zone is only one by default so it will be hidden if you select the VAV okay so the number of zone is uh, you can add here it will be visible okay so I show you select VAB so you can see here you can select this okay so in this uh, video I'm going to select the CAV single zone only okay and go to the system tab so in the system tab you can see the ventilation here economizer economizer ventilation reclaim pre coil pre cool coil pre heat coil so many options are given so mostly we are using these uh, options which is uh, already tick here humidification dehumidification is 50 to 60 percent is always okay central cooling coil 54 degree fahrenheit if you want heating you can select here heating if you don't want you can uncheck okay and just uh, click here supply fan and uh, supply fan you can select draw through blow through whatever applicable so i'm going to select draw through If anyone doesn't know what is the draw through and blow through, just, and just uh, let me know in the comment section. So I will uh, make video for this topic as well. Draw through and blow through. This is nothing but just uh, the position of uh, blower fan. So I will show you in the. I will explain in the next video if you want. So just click here first. Uh, draw through and ducted system duct system uh, you can see here the duct system duct system data so supply duct data is duct heat gain how much heat gain for the duct and what is the leakage percentage so you have entered here and here is the return duct uh, or plenum data so return by a uh, return duct return air is uh, via return duct if you select this return air plenum so this will be activated so I'm going to select only return duct and the air will be returned by return duct only. Okay. Return fan. If there is return fan, you can select as well this one. So in this, uh, there is no return fan. So I'm going to uncheck this. Okay. And then go to the zone components. So here uh, we are going to, we are uh, calculating for the ground floor so go to the zone component and here you can see already all the spaces i think here is not added all so what i'm going to do i'm going to select all okay 
and I remove this and I'm going to add again all these spaces to the zone okay so ground floor is starting from here so I'm going to select this all ground floor add this add to the zone just click on add and then thermostat go to the thermostats and here is already by default it is coming so do not change anything and just uh, select here thermostat schedule okay and supply terminal is uh, you can select here and zone heating if heating is required you can select here otherwise just uncheck it you can select the heating information and just enter here all the heating, heating information okay and then go to the sizing data so in the sizing data also do not change anything here you just enter the safety factor okay 10% supply is sensible and 10% return uh, cooling latent okay and uh, and then just click ok and uh, now the time is to generate the report so just select this and uh, you can click here otherwise you can right click and click on print view design result so I'm going to show you this time just click here and click here the view design report okay and whatever report you want you just check here and just uh, click on preview okay so you can see here the report is generated here okay so here air system information uh, you can see the air system name is ground floor ahu1 equipment class is split ahu and air system type is uh, single zone cab system okay and uh, here you can see the total coil load is uh, this is the central coil cooling uh, cooling coil sizing data and total coil load is 23.6 ton and uh, if you want in mbh so here is given in mbh as well and here is the supply fan sizing data that means the maximum airflow is required 8633 cfm okay and the this is the ventilation means fresh air requirement total outdoor air okay this much is required here is the number of zone is one floor area location and here is the load occur at uh, september 16 september 15 uh, 16 is nothing but four o'clock okay and here is the outdoor dry valve and wet bulb temperature is given that means the ambient temperature dry valve and wet valve and here is the entering entering dry valve wet valve that means the on call temperature okay and living dry valve wet valve that means the living air temperature coil adp bypass factor whatever uh, you entered is given here okay and uh, here is the zone sizing summary so here is the zone one zone one uh, detail is given here a space load and airflow so in zone one each zone how much space you have added so here in the zone one i have added uh, this much of a space so each space uh, details are uh, here uh, given here and here is the ventilation sizing summary that means the fresh air requirement is fresh air for each spaces is given here so this is same like uh, package unit uh, you have to select only you have to change the air system name only okay and uh, that's it so i hope you guys learn something from this video so in the next uh, video i will create uh, for the VAV system okay and then uh, and another video I will create uh, for the chill water system for the same project so please be with me and uh, keep watching my full video and uh, please be with me and uh, watching my full video also please like and share my video so thank you for watching my video thank you thank you bye bye